After 16 years of planning, the first resident of Wendage's new elder care facility is making her grand entrance. But not every family had the same honor. It happened so quickly, she just wanted to do the best. We had a face time with her, she was good. France Gros-Louis Morin lost her mother to Alzheimer's 10 days before the grand opening. Ah ben, ma mère avec un requin. Alice Gros-Louis lived in a transitional residence while waiting for a permanent bed in long-term care. As her daughter explains, the whole family was looking forward to having Mamie closer to home. Ma fille, il y a quoi être sagère, elle s'est informée s'il y avait des racks à vélo parce qu'elle fait l'école à la maison. Et toutes les après-midi, ben elle est libre, elle n'a pas d'école. Puis elle s'est informée sur des racks à vélo parce qu'elle voulait aller voir sa grand-mère régulièrement. Back in 2006, when Dogay, a community just outside Quebec City, decided to set the gears in motion to open a long-term care home for its elders. For René Picard, who works on Wendage Council, the idea of transferring Huron-Wendat elders into the Quebec Public Health Network became unacceptable. But it was difficult to secure government funding for an elder care facility, quote-unquote, on reserve. It was not easy because there were the questions of jurisdiction, federal, provincial. It was there, I would say, during the whole process until 2018, when it was given to the Minister of Health. They initially hoped to open in 2010. You know, for me, there is nothing more precious, more rich than our aînés. Council Chief Dave Laveau, who handles health and well-being for Wendage, says, financing aside, staffing shortages caused their own set of issues, as did concerns. For the elders. La plupart des experts en médecine nous avaient dit que ce n'est pas nécessairement conseillé de déplacer euh, un membre des Premières Nations, peu importe, qui est déjà dans un autre CHSLD et le changer de milieu. Souvent, ça va avoir des impacts cognitifs. The new elder care facility operates on a sliding scale, allowing residents to pay for lodgings according to their income. Laveau says its services are also culturally adapted. 24 residents are expected to move in in the coming weeks at a rate of one resident a day. For France Gros-Louis, it's a bittersweet occasion. She knows how much it would have meant to see her mother come home for good. Quelque chose d'imprévisible, une hémorragie interne des voies digestives, fait qu'elle aura jamais eu le temps de boire son mousseux. Fait que, ben, je le garde genre pour l'occasion, puis ben, on le boira à sa santé. At the very least, Gros-Louis finds solace in the fact that other residents of Wendage will get the chance to be close to their loved ones during the twilight of their lives. A story by Shishan Bacon, APTN National News, Wendage, Quebec.